tonight, Lon. I tell you what, I am so thankful to the good Lord to be in your homes on this evening. I tell you what, we're going to have such an amazing, awesome time tonight on Nightline because we have some amazing guests with us tonight. And I want you just to sit back and relax and enjoy what the Holy Spirit is going to be sharing tonight. I have a scripture I want to share to this evening. It's lifted from 1 Corinthians 11, uh, verse number 11 through verse number 12. It reads, nevertheless, neither is man independent of woman, nor woman independent of man in the Lord. For as woman came from man, even so man also comes through woman. But all things, all things are from God. I, I, I tell you, let's just give God a hand clap of praise for that word tonight because we need one another. Amen. In Genesis 2 and 18, it said, And the Lord God said, It's not good for man to be alone. He said, I will make him a help me. And I am so thankful to the good Lord for putting us together because when a, when a man finds a wife, <laughs> he finds himself a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. We have Apostle Hattie Gambrell on the set with us tonight. She's a registered nurse. We have Barbara Pickens. She's a certified trichologist. We have Apostle Adrian Bowens and Apostle uh, Nicole Bowens. They are with us tonight. And also, <laughs> we have Pastor Jerome Moorhead and the Voices of Faith. So you see, we have a great lineup of people. We got a great lineup of guests, and we have prayed before we came on the air. So we know that God is going to move. We just want to have some church tonight. We want you to pull your, your chairs up to the TV set, and if you feel like clapping your hand, clap them. If you feel like stomping your feet tonight, stomp them. If the, uh, the prayer call numbers are on the screen, so feel free to call in tonight. We want to hear from you. We have some awesome prayer partners, and they would love to hear from you tonight. So if you need prayer, if you need encouragement, if you want to call in and give a praise report, something that God has done for you in your life, feel free to call in. But right now, we're getting ready to go to Jerome Moorhead, and he's going to be singing, and they're going to be singing, uh, Help Me Jesus. Amen. Praise God. How many need God's help in this place? Amen. Amen. Those of you that sit at home, we, the Bible says that all my help, it comes from the Lord. Come on, you guys. Come on, put them hands together.
see tonight we're going to have an awesome time on nightline tonight that was pastor jerome moorhead and the voices of faith singing help me jesus <laughs> and tonight apostle hedigan braille and miss barbara pickens we're going to be talking about menopause tonight this is a health issue that women go through so tonight we're gonna be saying, "Help me, Jesus! Help, <laughs> help me! Help me, Jesus!" <laughs> Sometimes we do say it. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Mm. Hi, Apostle. Hello. How are you? Man, man. Hi, Barbara. Hey, how, how are you doing, you? sweetheart? Great. Great. <laughs> it is my joy to have you with us on Nightline. I, I'm thankful that you were with me uh, a couple of weeks ago on, on Just Call Me Sarah. Mm -hmm. And I said, wow, we have got to share some more because mm -hmm. women go through so much in our, in our young lives. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to share about some health issues that mm -hmm. they deal with from a day-to-day -day basis. Amen. But before I go to you, uh, Apostle Hedda Gambrell, I want to share just a little about you. Okay. Uh, Apostle Hedda Gambrell is uh, she's a, a registered nurse of 35 years. Wow. She has worked in psychiatry, nursing, home health, cardiac nursing, and she owns her own business. Mm -hmm. And the name of her business is Hattie's Healing Hand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she's been in home care for three years. She has taught nursing assistant courses at Chris Logan Career College. You are one busy bee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you again for coming to be with me and sharing your wisdom and knowledge with us tonight on Nightline. Amen. And then I have Miss Barbara Pickens. Hey, little Barbara. Hey. Hey, little sweetheart. Hey. <laughs> I want to share a little bit about you. Miss mm -hmm. Barbara Pickens, known as Miss B, mm -hmm. <laughs> has been a licensed cosmetologist since 1981. Mm -hmm. Then in 20, 20, 2000, 20,000. <laughs> 2013, 2013, I became the first certified trial. She became a hair, hair loss specialist Amen. after being in the beauty industry for 29 years. Mm -hmm. Amen. And she became frustrated because her clients, seeing clients with hair loss issues, she felt the need to return to school. Mm -hmm. In 2011, she graduated from the National Trichology Training Institute of Stockbridge, Georgia, mm -hmm. making her the first certified trichologist in South Carolina. Yes. Yay! Yay. Yay. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's awesome. So, I got two professionals on the set with me tonight. And so, we just want to open up and share. Okay, and the reason why I want to talk about menopause mm. is because, uh, as I said on my, on my talk show a few weeks ago, well, a couple of months ago in December, I came home from church, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I took my little hair piece off, mm -hmm. hairdo, you know, we, we call them hairdos. Yes. And so, and my little, my little mm -hmm. plaits, so just, I just had my little hair braided, mm -hmm. and so I took a picture of myself, and I put it on, on Facebook, mm -hmm. and I said to everybody on Facebook, I said, uh, before, I went on, before I went through menopause, mm -hmm. I said my hair was a lot longer and a lot mm -hmm. thicker, mm -hmm. okay? So then everybody started texting me and messaging me and Facebooking me and said, well, you need to do a talk show about menopause. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> because I think that's one of the subjects that we don't really talk about a right. whole lot. Yeah. So, Apostle, what is menopause? <laughs> well, menopause, the clinical definition of menopause 
is when a woman's hormone level has dropped to the point that she no longer has a monthly period. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's the clinical definition. Okay, that's the clinical definition. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got another one? Well, <laughs> you know, in order to talk about the hormone level dropping, I think we need to have some understanding about what our hormone levels are doing in our body. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, we have um, endocrine glands all throughout our body. And the two endo endocrine glands that produce our reproductive hormones, are the mm -hmm. main ones, are our ovaries. Okay. okay. And uh, when you when we hit puberty, those hormones pick up, and then a monthly be then a woman begins a monthly cycle, and then she becomes able to produce children. Okay. And I have a chart. I don't know when they're going to put that up, but I have a chart that talks about how um, there are actually four stages of menopause. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the first stage it's up, is... It's up there now. It's up there now. Mm -hmm. Okay. The first stage is premenopause. Okay. Premenopause usually happens around 30, 35 years old. Um, and it's when a woman's hormone level first begin to drop. Okay. And the way they, a one may recognize that, it's pre, that they're in premenopause is that their periods may become irregular. Mm -hmm. they, if they didn't have PMS symptoms, they'll start developing PMS symptoms. And they'll say, what's wrong with me? I'm, this is teenage stuff. Why am I mm -hmm. acting like this? Mm -hmm. it's, it's normal. Mm -hmm. okay. It's a part of the way that we're beautifully and wonderfully made. Yeah. And then uh, as when we get into around 40, in our 40, early 40s to mid 50s, mm -hmm. we go into perimenopause. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perimenopause is where there was a slow decline. It becomes a steep decline mm -hmm. wow. on those in those hormone levels. Yeah. And then that's when we begin to see the drastic symptoms and people say, I must be in menopause. Okay. Um, hot flashes, that's the big one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we begin to see um, irritability. We begin to have senior moments um, and all of these things begin to happen and What's um, a senior moment? A senior moment is like <laughs> when you leave moment? one room mm -hmm. okay. and you go to the next room uh -huh. and you're standing there and you don't know why you're there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's it. And then you turn around and you go back to the first room and then it ah, it hit me. Yeah. <laughs> and then you go back. Are you open the refrigerator? You don't know. Why am I standing in here in this refrigerator? What is wrong with me? You know, sometimes I'm too young to be getting dementia. It's not dementia. It is a part of menopause. Wow. Well, I'm sure a lot of people glad to hear that tonight. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And so, um, Ms. Bob, Ms. Trichologist, what's a trichologist? So, as a trichologist, we study hair loss, scalp disorders, and wellness and nutrition. Okay. So, we learn how to heal the body from the inside out. Oh, okay. So what does that mean exactly? So basically it's, it's just getting the body, resetting the body and getting it to work the way God created it to. Okay. Because you so, know, sometimes we do things that eat, as far as eating, <laughs> we eat stuff we know we're not supposed to have. Oh, but when Lord. we learn, we can do better. Mm -hmm. So I teach people how to get in there and, and get the, the necessaries to get back on track. Okay, the necessaries get back on track, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Because it's, we, it's not too late no. for anybody that's going through menopause. Oh, right? no. We still got a long life ahead of us. Yes. Yes. A lot more living to do, right? Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. yes. So I know I said when, when, when my hair would start shedding, uh, that meant that that was my early stages of mm -hmm. going through menopause. Perimenopause. Right? Mm -hmm. Perim mm -hmm. Perimenopause. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, no, I mean, it just shed a little bit, mm -hmm. but it was enough for me to notice. Yeah. Yeah. But now, you do know that it's normal to have some shedding. Okay. So, 50 to 100 strands a day is normal. Oh. Yeah. Okay. It's normal. So, when you brush mm -hmm. your hair and all that hair being the brush, that's, that's okay. You ain't got to worry well, about that. Well, when it's on the floor and oh, it's all it's over you, oh, okay. that's then that's a problem. <laughs> no. that, that's going to say, oh, you know, I need to talk to somebody. I need to talk mm -hmm. to somebody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I, I was saying when I was on, when I had y'all on my talk show, when I first noticed I was going through menopause when I had bought a new car, mm -hmm. but I could hear the motor in it. Like, the motor was just, mm -hmm. I'm like, what does this motor sound like that? Mm -hmm. Well, the doctor said, it's not the motor, mm -hmm. it's you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so he took, took some blood, and mm -hmm. he drew some blood, and 
and he said, you are in early premenopause, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you know, and I said, I'm too young for that, mm -hmm. you know, but it's been a while back, but I, I, I felt like I was too young for that, but mm -hmm. there's no certain age, right? It is isn't. Right. Mm -mm. So tell us the ages again. Well, around in your early 40s to mid 50s, that's when you can start going into perimenopause. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes. So that means that we need to eat healthier, mm -hmm. yes. exercise. Yes. Mm -hmm. What well, uh, What's some other things we need to do? Sleep. Get good sleep. Okay. Restful sleep. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people don't know, but sleep deprivation causes hair loss. Hair loss. And mm -hmm. also, with in menopause, mm -hmm. people have women have sleep deprivation, sleep. can't mm -hmm. sleep. It's wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, so that's why your doctor asks you how's your sleeping yeah. pattern. Yeah. You know, have, sometimes you know they ask you have you fallen? Or, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They don't have anything to do with menopause, does it? It does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it does. Mm -hmm. Do your bones change when? Oh you yes. Yes. <laughs> And that's when you get into the menopause and postmenopausal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your bones uh, get thinner mm -hmm. and, you know, falling, your balance gets off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of things can happen in that stage. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm glad to, that we are talking about that tonight because, again, sometimes we don't know why we act the way we act. Sometimes when we do get irritable or mm -hmm. frustrated mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. you know, feel like, <sighs> mm -hmm. You know, it's because we're going through some things in our bodies. Yes. So I feel like we need to talk about that because God is concerned about the whole man. Yes. Yes, yes In he the is. mind, the body, the spirit, the soul, mm -hmm. all of us. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And we need to share because, you know, sometimes people can go to the doctor. They don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, so they're going through menopause. Mm -hmm. Going through menopause. The change of life. It yes. is the change. <laughs> change. Mm -hmm. The change of life. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so what happens? Okay, so when you go through menopause, you know, you say you, your body changes so you don't have your, your monthlies anymore? Or? Yeah, by the time you get menopausal, you won't have your monthlies anymore, but it's not determined that you're in menopause until you've gone a year, mm -hmm. and sometimes two years, Okay. without having your monthly, and to be diagnosed as menopause. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so but you, I think you said one time that you can you can get caught in the change. You can get that's what the old folk used to mm -hmm. call it, caught in the change. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you may have gone six months, even nine months without mm -hmm. having a cycle, and you think that you're not fertile anymore, mm -hmm. and you can still you're you're not very fertile, but you can still be fertile. That's still happen. Okay, mm -hmm. and you know another thing too that we women need to help our husbands mm -hmm. to understand. You know, yes. this what this program is all about tonight is helping our husbands to mm -hmm. understand too yes. what we're what we're dealing with. Yes. Right. <laughs> well right now <laughs> I hope that you're learning some things about menopause and perimenopause. But right now we get ready to go back to our musical guest, Jerome Moorhead and the voices of faith. They're gonna be singing anointing. Amen. 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 I know that is so much that every yoke. Anointed. Anointing. Let it rain on me, yes, Lord. Let it rain. Oh, God. Oh, anointed. Blessings. Blessings. Anybody need God's blessing? Let it rain on me. Let it rain. Oh, God. Oh, healing. healing. Somebody came and hit sick tonight. Healing. But I decree you healing. what I need the Lord to do.
of the Lord is yes. in this house tonight. Mm -hmm. To God be all the glory. Yes. Amen. I know tonight that we are basically talking about menopause and hair loss. But we want you to know tonight if you need anything from the Lord, mm -hmm. if you're going through anything in your body, mm -hmm. in your mind, yes. in your mm -hmm. spirit, in your soul, mm -hmm. we want you to pick up the phone the yes. number is on the screen. We have some amazing prayer partners, prayer counselors yes. that will pray with you, 
and encourage you in your walk with the Lord. Mm -hmm. If you need salvation tonight, mm -hmm. Thomas, if you need to touch from the Lord, mm -hmm. yes. pick up the phone tonight. We are here for you. And to God mm -hmm. be all the glory. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. So, yes. Barbara, I know that, you know, I, I love what you do, being a trichologist and helping women that have gone through hair loss. Is hair loss an epidemic? It is. It is. There's only L over 80 million Americans dealing with hair loss. Mm. Oh my goodness. We all probably know somebody who's dealing with it. Yeah. If it's not ourselves. Yeah. Mm. You know? But yes, there, it is an epidemic. In fact, we're seeing it in children. Mm. I saw a 10-year-old yesterday in my clinic. Mm. A 10-year-old? Stress. Stress. That's what she said, she was under stress? This was a little boy. Oh, a little boy with so, hair loss? Yes. Mm. Oh my goodness. Okay, what could have, what could be stressing him to the point that he's losing Parents his hair? divorced. Mm. Oh. Parents divorced. He's heartbroken. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Do you, I mean, I, to me, if I was there, I probably just cried, you know, oh, seeing that a yeah. 10 year old. He cried, I cried, his mom cried. I mean, yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's very um, devastating to see kids suffering. And then he's being bullied at school because mm. other kids are picking on him. Yeah. Are they picking on him because of the hair mm -hmm. loss? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Mm. And I had an opportunity to share with him what he's walking through is not just for him. Yes. He's going to have a testimony, and he's yes. going to be able to help somebody else. Yes, yes. exactly, exactly. That's what's mm -hmm. the, see. That's that's why you need godly people. Yes, <laughs> mm -hmm. in different places mm -hmm. to help people when on their journey right. mm -hmm. with the Lord, because we don't know what somebody else is going through. No. Mm -hmm. We don't know how somebody else's life has been affected. Mm -hmm. No, or somebody else is hurting. Right, mm -hmm. you know, so. For you to tell him that this is going to be a testimony mm -hmm. for him one day, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that make him kind of feel better. When well, you told and him? I, when I told him, he looked at me. I said, "Do you understand what I'm saying?" I said, "You may not see it right now, but later, I promise you, God is going to allow you to minister and and help someone else right. through what you've gone through. It's going to be a it's going to be beneficial t for you to help somebody else." Apostle, yeah. I know we're talking about menopause and mm -hmm. hair loss tonight, but now that she done brought up a child, yeah. can we take a couple of minutes and pray for children? Yes. Will you do that for Absolutely. us? Will you lead us in prayer? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Father, in Jesus' name, Lord. Yes, God. God, we come to you right now, Lord God. We honor you and we acknowledge you that you are sovereign. Yes, yes. God. And God, there's nothing that's too hard for you. And God, we just want to lift up all the little children. Yes, God. And God, that they are going through a lot in this day. So okay. much. Things that we didn't have to go through so yes. much growing Thank up. Thank you, Jesus. Their fear of going to school and getting yes, hurt yes, or God. shot. Mm -hmm. Problems in the home. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, Thank both parents Jesus. are not Hope in the, the home. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, comfort them. Yes, strengthen Jesus. them. Encourage them. Yes. And cause them to look to you. Yes, And God. make yourself known to them. Mm -hmm. Thank you, God, Jesus. God, that everything they need. God, you are the one that supplies yes. it. Yes. Whether you do it through a parent mm -hmm. or a teacher mm -hmm. or a family member, mm -hmm. you supply all of their needs. Yes, God. And God, we just thank you thank and just you, help the, the um, adults around the yes. children yes. to be sensitive to the conversation yes. that they're having in front of the children. Yes. Thank to you, be Jesus. sensitive to their children's behavior, mm -hmm. to know that when they are not okay right. and to intervene yes. and do what they can do right. to make them better. Thank you, Jesus. In mm. Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus Amen. Name. Amen. Amen. Yes. See, one thing that I, I love about Nightline, you know, we may have a topic, mm -hmm. but we want the Holy Spirit to yes. have, have, have Holy his Spirit. way. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we want him to, to rule and to reign here. Right. Amen. Because the Holy Spirit knows what everybody needs. Right more than we know what they need. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. So thank you for doing that. Thank yeah. you for praying. Thank you for talking about that. Mm -hmm. Because our children need 
they need help right now. Yes, oh, they do. Yes, God. You know, they've been, like I said, they've been bullied in school. Mm -hmm. They're mm -hmm. afraid to go to school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's so many things happening. Yes. You know, but we serve a God. Oh, oh yes. yes. Amen. <laughs> mm. Amen. That he has all power. All, all power. power. In the palm of his holy hand. Yes, yes, yes. yes he's yes, able yes. to destroy. Mm -hmm. and he's able to defend. defend. Yes, yes, he is. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. So, Bob, I want to ask, though, um, that can chemicals affect the hair? Absolutely. In fact, there's a big lawsuit for women who have worn relaxers for five years. You, if anybody's had relaxers for five years and dealing with breast cancer, ovarian cancer, fibroid tumors, mm. there's a, a major lawsuit. Wow. wow. Because the companies were putting carcinogens in the chemicals mm. and it was causing, the the cancer. causing the cancer. My, my, and my. the women were uh, subjected to this like 10 times the amount mm. of other people mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. yeah so it's terrible I, I know you mentioned before that we not we're not even supposed to put glue was it glue, glue. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah in our hair right and if you it, if you I'm sure you've noticed people hitting their heads doing this right mm -hmm. Haven't you seen that mm -hmm. that's an allergic reaction mm. the glue was never made for our hair it was made for tires retreading tires mm. Wow Mm. Yeah, and so when you when you go, and they get the hair bleeding yeah. down, it, and it be burning, mm -hmm. and, you know, like, what should they say? They should say something. <laughs> they shouldn't just sit there and let it happen. Because yeah. I had a client who came in, and she was literally bald like a a man. Mm. And I said, "Well, did you say anything?" She said, "No, uh, I trusted the professional." I said, "No, ma'am." I said, when you feel somebody pulling your hair out, mm -hmm. you got to speak up. Wow. Mm -hmm. And right. so I told her, you got to take some responsibility for that. Yeah, the professional should not have done it. Okay, but, that's a given. Right. But you should have said something. Mm -hmm. She should have said yeah. something. The client should have said yeah. something. Mm -hmm. Also, I mean, the professional shouldn't have done it. That's a given. Right. But if you feel uncomfortable, just like people right. say, well, uh, when I go get braids, mm -hmm. I have to take medicine before I take get braids. Mm -hmm. I have to get take medicine after I get braids. Like a couple of Tylenol or something. Yeah. Just yeah. take something to ease, to ease the pain. <laughs> why, what, pain? But why are you experiencing pain? That shouldn't be a painful situation. Mm. If it's painful, it's not right. Mm. Yeah. It's not right. That's why your body lets you know when something isn't right. When right. pain comes that's right pain. Exactly. Right. Immediately. That's, <laughs> right. a, that's a red flag. Yes. Pain? Oh, no. Wrong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But to sit there and just allow it? No. You got to say something. Speak up. That's why God gave us a voice. Speak. Mm -hmm. If it's right. not, if it doesn't feel good, you got to say something. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And that's something we need to do. We need to speak up for ourselves right. more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we suffer in silence. Mm -hmm. You know what? That's one of the things that I talk to my clients about when they come to me. I want them to know that they are in a safe place mm -hmm. and they no longer have to suffer in silence. Yeah. Right. Because I'm going to be there to walk through that journey mm -hmm. with them. Mm -hmm. Well, awesome. again, we are blessed to have... Um, Miss Barbara Pickens and Apostle Hedigan Brett with us tonight. But right now, we're getting ready to go back to Jerome Moorhead and the Voices of Faith, and they're going to be singing another day. Amen. 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 I mean, that it's another day that the Lord has kept me. Amen. Put them hands together, everybody. Come on. This is a little quartet five. It's another uh, a day's journey uh, that the Lord has kept me. Can I say it again? Uh, it's another uh, a day's journey uh, that the Lord has kept me. He's kept me from.
It's another a, a day's journey a, a, that the Lord has given me. It's another day's journey a, a, that the Lord has given me. Yeah, they 
say y'all better be glad that I can't sing because if I could I'll be up there singing with them tonight. <laughs> Pastor Jerome Moorhead and the voice of faith singing he kept me. He kept me. Because that's my testimony. Mm -hmm. Amen. He has kept me. Amen. 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 Through danger seen and unseen. Amen. Yeah. And I know the Lord has kept you too. Mm -hmm. I know he's watched over you day and night and night and day. Amen. To God be all the glory. Yes. Oh, Lord have mercy. Ooh, that was amen. powerful. One. Yes, it was. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> you know, it's one thing to have a program, but when you can have a Holy Ghost be a oh, program. Yes. Amen. And you know Thank what, Apostle, I should have known, you know, with you on here tonight. Glory, glory. Ooh, Lord have mercy. And, and, and Barbara and I, we was talking a few minutes ago when they were singing, you know, mm. before they came on, we said, Lord, you know, take this a little bit for just, us. Yeah. Just go in. <laughs> I know. It don't take this a little bit. You know, yeah. like, we yeah. don't forgot where we are. Yeah, right. <laughs> and just it. start praising and yes. worshiping God yeah. and just having a great time. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's all about. It is. It is. Because whatever you do, mm -hmm. do it with joy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. do it with gladness of heart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know, Amen. you want people to know I'm I'm saved, but yeah. I'm glad I'm mm -hmm. <laughs> to God be all the glory. Amen. To God be all the glory. Amen. 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 But uh uh Barbara, you have a chart that you wanted to share tonight? Yes, yeah, so these are some of my clients before and afters. Now when these clients actually came, they thought it was no hope. Mm, wow. This this young man uh was in his fifties. And yeah. he thought he yeah. could, it would not, his hair would not grow back, but that's the after. Okay, mm. they're showing it on the screen. Mm -hmm. So you're talking about the one the first the top one. on the, the first one. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So the one at the top and then the one below it is the, the actual um, And this one coming growth. to you? Yes. Wow. Those are my actual clients. Oh, praise God. And the first one was um, this before and then the last picture was nine months later. Yeah. Okay. 
the lady next to him, mm -hmm. she had um, chemical damage. Someone yeah. had left a relaxer on her scalp and it just broke. And um, the second picture is five months later. Okay. Wow. And then the other, last lady, um, she was actually going through menopause. menopause. And this okay. was um, actually a sew-in. So mm -hmm. that's okay. that's not her her actual hair, but it looks like it is. Okay. okay. So it looks natural. So yeah. you so you know how to sew it in where it doesn't hurt. Right. Okay. Absolutely. Where it doesn't pull mm -hmm. on the right. hair that you already have. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So what awesome. what process would one have to go through in order to get their hair to grow back? So the first thing we do is something called the follicle scope. Okay. And we look to see if the follicles are still viable. Okay. If the follicles are still viable, the hair can grow back. Yeah. But if it's, the follicles are not there, there's it doesn't matter what you use, it's not coming back. Okay. If the follicles are not there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you see where women of color have more problems with Absolutely. this? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Um, right. That's one of the things that we are doing with my trichology school. Yeah. We, there is a war on um, in the world okay. because of hair loss mm -hmm. in the African American community. Okay. In fact, we're seeing little babies um, that are wearing braids. They're wearing beads, and the 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 the, the weight yeah. from the beads is yeah. making the hair. Come, come off the scalp. So it's wow. called traction alopecia. Oh my goodness. And I know y'all have seen people with braids and the hair hairline is all the way back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so that's traction. Mm -hmm. That's something that's been pulling for, for years. It didn't just happen overnight. Mm-hmm. I think that we just go through that thing and just want to look cute. Yeah, but <laughs> that don't look cute. <laughs> No. That don't look cute at all. No, it doesn't. No, but uh, you know, you have to have somebody who's close to you that can tell you that, that yeah. you can receive from them. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm glad I got people around me that'll tell me. <laughs> Y'all better tell me if something ain't right. <laughs> so I know you even talked about putting stuff on the eyelashes. Yeah, so the bonding glue. There are peop women who are wearing eyelashes that are using that black bonding glue and that glue has is a carcinogen, and guess what? Mm. It is actually if they put it on their eye, their eyelashes, it it burns their eyes mm -hmm. because it's it's strong. Wow! And it can cause blindness. Wow! wow. Yeah. I tell mm -hmm. you, you have you are really sharing a lot of valuable information with us tonight because sometimes I think people don't really realize, no. you know, what they're doing, how mm, they what they're doing. It's affecting their health, their, right? The wealth, that's <laughs> and everything. Because your health is affected, your wealth going to be affected. Everything is gone, right? Yeah. Right. That's right. So, uh, Apostle, tell us, you know, what are some of the things that we can do, even for its menopause? Is there anything natural that we can take, or do we have to take just medication from the doctor? Well, um, there are natural products, but I recommend. You can do your research, but take it to your primary mm -hmm. care physician okay. yeah. before you start taking anything mm -hmm. because you may have health issues yourself mm -hmm. or family history that would make that herbal contraindicated for you. Okay, mm -hmm. I got you. Yes. I got and like you. I had said on the other program that I wasn't allowed to take any herbals mm -hmm. for menopause okay. symptoms. Um, because of my family history and my own medical history. Right. But they have creams and sprays. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things out there that does help. But what you can do naturally is eat healthy. Yes. Yeah. Um, exercise. Mm -hmm. um, try to stay calm. Mm -hmm. De-escalate yourself when you find yourself getting really, really agitated. Right. Talking to your spouse, mm -hmm. your family members. Mm -hmm. Let them know that when you need time, right? you know, you, this may be your sign, okay, this is as far as I can go with this. Mm -hmm. Okay. We got to pick this up later. Right. Mm -hmm. Because you are not able to handle. Mm -hmm. It may, just because something needs to be handled, it don't need to be handled right now. Right. Okay, so can, can men go through menopause? Yes, men do. Mm -hmm. um, but their menopause, um, I heard someone say, they call it menopause. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> but there where women, how, um, in our 40s, early 50s, 
it drops drastically. Mm -hmm. Okay. Theirs drop slowly over time. Mm -hmm. So their symptoms may not be as drastic. Mm -hmm. But yes, um, sometimes their hair loss is related to oh, yeah. their hormone levels. Wow. Uh, um, you know, the wrinkling in the skin and the, um, the changing in the texture of the skin mm -hmm. and um, their, deme you know, their demeanor. Mm -hmm. um, it can be due to the lack of testosterone. Right. The testosterone levels go down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you know, our time is about up with <laughs> you two <laughs> ladies. And I tell you, I, I, I have really been blessed and I am truly thankful uh, that you came to share. Y'all shared a lot of valuable information that we needed to hear, and some people may not know this. Right. That's why you have to bring mm -hmm. some things to the light mm -hmm. yeah. so s people can understand what's going on in their bodies and in their minds. And they're not going crazy. No, no. <laughs> they're not crazy. Mm -mm. No. Not going crazy. So how can we contact you? I can be reached at 864-881-1451 or 864-241-2131. Okay, I think they had the number up on the screen. Mm -hmm. So, an apostle, if somebody wanted to talk to you about some issues, how can we contact you? Um, eight six four three nine five five three five two, or they can email me at hattiegambrell at gmail dot com. Okay, is there a last minute, a last second takeaway y'all want to share tonight about menopause and hair loss? Seek help. Yeah. Talk to somebody. You're not by yourself. Okay. There's somebody else that's gone through it or going through it. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. What about you, Apostle? Is that this is not something that we just need to be concerned about in our earlier years. Mm -hmm. We need to start early on in life taking care of ourselves. Because mm -hmm. in the absence of our estrogen and progesterone, our bodies will deteriorate faster yeah. mm -hmm. if we don't go into menopause healthy and strong. Right. Wow. Well, again, we are truly thankful, and we are thankful that you were able to tune in and just listen, you know, <laughs> to what they had to say tonight and just share this information because menopause is something that affects, everybody. does it affect all of us? Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> the whole family. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I didn't want to yeah. say that if it didn't. It's true. You know, because it, it may affect some people more so than others, right? The Did symptoms can be stronger. Yeah. Okay. The symptoms can be worse. Okay, yeah. especially some night sweats, right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's when you got one, you got, they say you have um, the, the air condition on. No, you got the heat on in the winter. Mm -hmm. Then you got heavy blankets. You got the ceiling fan on and, and one foot out. kicked out. <laughs> when you know, you that, know, you know it's all okay. if, you ain't, if you ain't there you almost it's there. coming <laughs> I want you to stay tuned for the mm -hmm. second hour we got Apostle Adrian uh, Bowens and Apostle Nicole Bowens on the set with us they're going to be with us and, uh, and of course uh, Jerome Moorhead and the Voices of Faith they're going to be back with us so don't go anywhere ladies, men don't go anywhere, amen God bless you, have a great evening <laughs>